Hey guys, Demons Rage here, and I am Envious Clan Leader. I am bringing to you the first of a few part series of videos that I'm doing that will provide an in depth review and guide to Blacklight Retribution. Now, in this, I'm going to cover some of the basics as well as go into some of the in depth, but keep in mind a lot of this is all built around my particular playstyle. It may not fit you, it may not suit you, but this is the way I play and you'll get to see some of that in some of the following videos. First let's get to our customization here. In our customization we have our nodes. Now nodes are provided to you for various things. Anytime you purchase items with GP or with Zen you get different nodes. You can get one through f uh, one through five level. Uh, you can get some rares, some uncommons, which provide you know, a, a bigger boost. Um, the only difference between a one and a five is the amount of time that it's that it functions. So what you can do is you can take it and go to fusion here and you can literally fuse nodes. So just as an example, I'm going to grab two nodes, have a 55% chance of success, and boom, we just made a level 2 out of two level 1s. Um, so that's the node fusion real quick. Your inventory cap, as you gain, you, these keep filling up and they keep adding up in your inventory. They're a little bit of a nuisance, but what you can do is you can come here and you can fuse them. When you fuse them, they last longer. So as an example here, I have a bunch of level 4s and a couple level 5s. Um, don't even know why I have this level 5 here right now, but it's there. Um, once they're in, I'm not sure if they can actually be replaced, but let me see if it can be because... I don't really see any need for explosive ammo resistance here. Uh, let's see... Let's go with the movement speed plus 5 and we will overwrite that socket and there we go. So level 4s provide you with a 30 day uh, node, a level 5 gives you 90, a level 3 I believe gives you 7 days, level 2 is 3 days and level 1 is just 1 day. Um, so there's really little difference between just the common nodes aside from the amount of time that they're provided that, that they're there for you. Heroes. Heroes can be unlocked through chance packs and awards or you can buy them with Zen. Uh, personally I don't have any real preference towards either one of them right now but the uh, Mars actually gives a pretty nice damage um, bonus for armor to a headshot gives a pretty decent amount of he uh, health. Uh, stamina is a little bit low and run speed is really low compared to where I'm at right now. My personal preference in my armor, I have the Overmatch Bone Breaker, I have the Allied Ranger LT, and I have the L Allied LS Vipers. Now, as a speed build, I could actually be using the Speed Demons. I do have them unlocked. But right now, since I'm using GP to unlock most of my stuff and not going the Zen route, I just have a personal preference towards doing that. It gives me a little bit of a sense of accomplishment, I guess. Um, I'm not using the Speed Demon legs. They're a little bit pricey, but they also have me lose a loadout slot for my gear. Um, and that is right over here. For my personal preference, I always use the heal injector. There's a lot of different options here. Feel free to browse through them, try them out yourself. Um, you know, some of these come in really handy. The barricade I use every now and then comes in, in nice for a couple of particular maps to block out doors. But just a personal preference, I stay with the heal injector, especially because I have a lower amount of health at only 162 HP. Um, compared to my old build at 242 HP. So it helps me heal myself real quickly and get back into the fight. I don't need to keep spending my uh, CP that I earn in the game for the depot to renew my uh, health there. High explosive grenade is the HE grenade. That's what I use personally. 
I use the Proxmine. I really don't use too much melee. If I'm going to melee, I'm going to use the butt of my weapon, and you'll see some of that in some of the games here. It does not allow you to equip more than one high explosive grenade, which is a good thing, because if you really did, that would be a little bit too overpowered there. Um, the shock grenade is another weapon that I also use every now and then. Uh, it helps out a good bit. It gives a shock to everything. It deals damage to them, so you can kill them too with it. And it stuns them for about two and a half seconds, depending on their, their nodes and their gear. Um, this really helps out a good bit. Um, when you're approaching hard suits, when you're approaching a, a group of enemies, if they get hit with this stun grenade, you're going to be able to come in and you're going to do a lot more damage real fast with your weapons. Um, on to weapon loadouts. Moving along, I run a assault rifle, just a standard assault rifle. I don't get too much in depth with some of the other weapons right now. The reason being is because, in my opinion, the assault rifle is the best all-around weapon. Um, it has a really tight ADS spread. The hip range is is still really tight. Recoil is a little bit heavy, but it's nothing that can't be controlled. Um, I still have a pretty decent run speed with this particular loadout. It reduces my run speed a little bit, but that's okay. I can deal with that. I can manage that. Um, real quickly, I'm just going to load out one of the weapons here. Just as an example, um, when you're coming through here, you have the different options. A lot of people will go through the marketplace. I don't go through the marketplace. The reason being, when you go through the marketplace, you still have to come here to equip it. So it really, to me, it, it makes more sense to use the customization option instead of going through the marketplace. You can build up your shotgun here, you just select it, and boom, you have the option to buy it right here. One day, seven day, or permanent. I'm going to go with the one day option just because I'm really not stressing it too much. My GP is a little bit low after some of the other purchases that, that I made today. Um, fire rate on my grip. I'm going to go ahead and bring that up because that helps me out a little bit and it doesn't affect my run speed. When I build my weapon here I don't really worry too much about the spread or anything else with my shotgun because I'm normally going to be using it close range and the biggest thing is I want to keep my run speed up so I can duck and move and get around the bullets as opposed to being hit by them. Um, just use the standard stock. Just because I already own it, I'm going to go ahead and equip the uh, Halo site here. As far as my stock goes, we have a number of different options. Um, V2 folding actually gives me a good bit of run speed here. I think I may wind up using that. Uh, let's take a look real quick at some of the other options. Um, yeah, in fact, I'm going to go back and I'm going to use that one for right now. And this is just a level 7 stock, guys. Most of these people like to say, you know, oh, you're level 30, you have everything unlocked. Well, you know, the only thing that really gives me an advantage here, this one's unlocked at level 29, level 27 here, but the receiver itself isn't even locked to level 20. So, um, you know, it is a slight advantage by being higher level as far as some of the secondary weapons, some of the uh, unlocks. But overall, it really is a very balanced game. So now that I have that loaded out, I'm going to go ahead and call it a day for this section of the video. Be sure to subscribe, tune in if you like the video, and you'll be able to see some gameplay and some more on the review at a later date. Thank you guys.